being arrested. All right? <laughs> now is your chance to leave. We're going to need your ID. It's in the tent. Go, go get grab it. it. Okay, let's go. It's right here. Go get go it. Go get my, it. My tent's right here. Okay, I'll go wait get right it. Here. We are allowed to be here. And federal law preempts state law and city law. So the U.S. Constitution says that I have the right to be a journalist. I have the right to assembly. I have the right to free speech. And that preempts the law of the Tucson Parks and Rec Department who says I can't camp here. You just sign your ticket right here. Sign right here. It's not saying that you're guilty. Just saying that you're going to appear in court. Hold on a second. To bring this down here. On the little square. The little square. I have a really bad signature. That's really what it looks like. Sorry. So how many tickets have you given in the last two weeks? It's all printed in the newspaper, man. Oh, not so much. All right, your court date's gonna be the uh, 10th of November at 8.30 in the morning. Okay, here's my legal agreement. I just signed it. I'm at the legal tent with all the legal type people, and it's like uh, after 11 o'clock. Actually, it's like 11.30, way past my bedtime. But here I am. All right, so I'm Pamela Powers with the Tucson Progressive from the TucsonCitizen.com. I just got my ticket here on Occupy Tucson. I uh, talked to the police about preemption regarding state and federal and local laws because the U.S. Constitution trumps the laws that are made by the uh, person who's the head of the Parks and Rec Department here. And obviously, from the signs on my tent, I am protesting. This is free speech. And I got a ticket tonight here in the park, and my court date is on uh, November 10th.